Hi, welcome to Yoga with Liza, day 81. I will say hi, welcome to Yoga with Liza, day 81. And today's plant talk is about elderberry. I am still learning this Facebook um, new new page and so the pre-programming of the live video did not uh, go as planned once again so we will refine this so that it can be planned and then finding the page and bringing people up so I will um, go on to my cell phone and invite some people in. So the plant of the day is mulberry. And to be honest, I don't know too much about mulberry, but I do know quite a bit about elderberry. And elderberry is um, grown up in the Northeastern Pennsylvania and so with um, that being said, elderberry makes a great syrup. And so I do pancake syrup with it. And okay, so Cindy and Lemia, you found me, yay. I'm just gonna plug in for Nina. And it seems as if the um, okay well all right so elderberry is awesome and it tastes good. It has some antiviral effects. What it does, the way elderberry functions, is there's receptors in the body where cells attach. And then they get into those cells and they replicate the RNA of the virus. Elderberry blocks the receptor cells throughout the body so that it, viruses aren't able to get into the cell to replicate the RNA. And that's the way that elderberry functions, along with tasting really good. So I'm going to check in and ask for a sound check tonight. Um, if you can let me know, does the sound, is the sound better tonight than it was last night? I know that um, some people had difficulty hearing, and so it's it's a new it's a new program. And whenever there's a new program, it's learning: is it the machine? Is it the program? Is it me? Do I need to bring my coaching voice into the situation? So yesterday afternoon, southeastern Pennsylvania, we had quite the thunderstorm, many, many, many electrical outages, and then um, I did my class last night, and then after class, I was watching um, friends of mine from California, Lemia, um, Hi, honey. 
and learning and amazing connections going back through the Bible and through the Hebrew text. And I will say thank you, thank you, Lenia. Um, the ancient Jewish religion I'm still learning much about. All right, kids, kids time. So today was Angelo's birthday. Um, we didn't meet in the park, so I called him, texted him this morning, happy birthday. I'm gonna say hi, Henry, Wyatt, Ricky, Angelo, Jade, Cora, Ava, Maya, Braylon, Harper, Anna, Olivia, Scarlett, L'Oreal, Jason, Jane, Jensen, Emrys, Manny, Zenaida, Kyra, Paige, Weston, Carson, Owen, Skyler, KK, Dylan, Nina, Lucas, Robbie, Michael, Michael, Tommy, Ricky, Patty, Sarah, Amanda, Peter, and Jude, and so on. And so I included some of the adults in this um, because the adults need to stay of sound mind and body in order to take care of their children. And so I'm also going to throw in Josh um, and John and Bill and Marianne. And so they're all grown up, but and maybe you want your meditation stones for the Vasana tonight. Tomorrow night is the full moon, and so I'll do meditation tomorrow night. Um, inhaling. Let's come up. Let's do our sunshine, guys. Let's feel the sunshine. Big sunshine and then from sunshine bring our arms and our feet together arching over to one side for half moon inhale back up arch over to the other side for half moon coming back to center Stepping, bringing our hands out, bring the heels in, and let's feel our cloud. And the clouds are rolling in right now, so we may have another thunder boomer. Breathing into it, and then from cloud, feeling our star pose, breathing. And from star, let's bring our arms out and bring that right foot up and back behind and come into eagle. And then bring that right foot down and pick the left foot up and feel our eagle soaring and flying, breathing into it. Inhaling, bringing that right foot, left foot back to the mat. Shift the weight to the right foot, bring that left foot to the left. And let's feel our tree. Gently feel our tree, breathing into it. And maybe you come out of it and come back in and gently bring that foot back in, pushing down into the toes, gently breathing into it. Bringing the hands to heart center, bring the left foot down, pick up the right knee, bring it to the right, gently pick that right foot up, Breathing into it. Maybe you come into cactus arms and feel the breath and smile. 
we're happy. Open and close the hands. Step wide, come on down. Coming into ladybug, bringing the hands to heart center. Breathing into it. Bringing the hands in front, coming back around, sticking out our tongue, and lion's breath roar. And again, lion's breath roar. And again, lion's breath roar. Fun. Walk our hands forward, bringing our knees wide, fingers wide, and gently inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Gently bring the forearms to the mat. Arch the spine, feel the stretch. Now straighten the arms, arching the spine, feeling the cat. Stretching from side to side. Gently push ourselves back. Walking the hands over to the left. And then coming all the way back through center. Walking the hands all the way back over to the right. So we're gently walking our hands over one way and gently walking our hands all the way back over the other way, coming all the way around, stretching to the side. Coming back to center, plant the hands, plant the toes, feel our downward dog, into seated position. Gently bring the feet up and feel our boat and keep those sit bones in the mat. Maybe the foot can come straight up, but keep the sit bones in the mat. We're gonna row our boat. Bring the soles of the feet together. Gently let the knees drop open tuck our tailbone under, come back up, feeling our butterfly. And I can hear Vicki saying, Grandma, you do the same thing all the time. Well, I change it up from time to time. And I do the same thing because it helps you build muscle memory. And so next week I'll change it up and we'll do some different poses again bringing our knees into our chest, giving ourselves a hug, gently releasing down onto the mat, coming into our easy cross leg, and maybe you choose to sit on a blanket, maybe you're flat on the mat, maybe you're on a block, maybe you're in a chair. And so for those of you who are new tonight, We've been doing a world meditation 
And in the world meditation, I use the globe as a proxy for the world. If you're a Reiki practitioner, understanding um, the idea of using a proxy. Um, If you're not a Reiki practitioner, you can still send out love and light. And envision, so this is North America up on top, Asia's around the back, Africa, South America, and over here on the side is Japan. Alaska's up at the tippy top. And so sending out love and light. So you can do that with saying a rosary and our father. Um, let me type in the comments for me, help me out what the Hebrew prayer of the light would be. I know the Hindis have a prayer of light, I'm sure. They have a whole ceremony where they put lights in the leaves and let them go down the river. My Native American world. And so this is just a very simple meditation of the light for healing, clarity, so that in having clarity for our next step. Maybe you know somebody specifically who needs healing and prayers. And as we breathe into this, if you're a Reiki practitioner, hold the distance symbol in your head and sending out energy just for the highest good. Remembering that our highest good may not look like we think it should. Now I'm going to turn the earth so that Asia's on top on your side and Africa, Australia's down under there too, sending out love and light and healing, asking for clarity. And remembering that the energy will go where it needs to go for that of the highest good. Not my will, thy will.
one more time. I'm going to turn the earth. One more turn of the earth. I am grateful for gently releasing our connection with the world. I'm hearing the thunder boomers out there in One of those strange, eerie gray clouds. So, every night we've been doing this prayer for the last two weeks pretty steadily. And every day it's interesting, I find out more information um, to give me clarity and finding sources of love and light and those are important connections to have and so bringing our hands to heart center And remembering, I'm grateful for, I'm grateful for, and I'm grateful for. Gratitude is the path to love and happiness. It's so simple. Sometimes things that are simple Every day we need to practice. Breathing into it. Smelling the roses. Or whatever flower you choose. Inhaling, bringing our intention, our dedication up to the universe, and to me, God created the universe, 
So whatever framework you use, releasing that out. Inhaling. Exhale, release it out. And one more time, inhale up. And release it on out. Gently bring the right arm towards the mat. Bring the left arm up and over. Right ear comes to the right shoulder. Maybe your right elbow comes down onto the mat. Inhaling back up. Bring that left arm down. Bring that right arm up and over. Maybe you can bring the left elbow to the mat. Inhaling, coming all the way back to center. Gently bring the hands all the way back behind Yoga Mudra, Reverse Prayer. Tuck our chin to our chest. Inhale, bring it up. Open and close. Close the mouth and swallow. Bring the chin back to chest, gently twist the head to the right, chin to the right shoulder, come all the way back to center, bring the chin to the left shoulder. back to center, bringing the knees in, gently give ourselves a hug, bring the foot in front behind and behind in front, lifting up, coming back down, gently twist to the right. Coming all the way back through center, gently looking over the left shoulder. Coming back to center, one more time, find your comfortable seated position and gently let's do some alternate nostril breathing, four rounds, inhaling through the left, exhale right, inhale right, exhale left, that's one. I like to bring my fingers to my third eye and that makes me very mindful of my third eye. However, we're not supposed to touch our face. So maybe you tuck your middle three fingers in so that your pinky and your thumb are out. So blocking the right nostril with the thumb as we inhale in. Locking the left with the pinky, exhale. Inhale. 
inhale, right? Exhale, left. That's one. Three more at your own breath. Inhale. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Bringing the right leg out to the right, the left foot stays in, gently hinge towards the right leg, breathing into it. We're, there, we're working up into some moon salutations tonight, gently stretching ourselves out first. Inhale, bring it all the way up, bring that left hand behind, bring the right toes over the right arm up, come up, gentle side plank, maybe you keep your hips in the mat, honor yourself in your practice. Exhale, come on back down. Bring the left foot out and the right foot in. Flexing the left toes, gently reach forward. Breathing into it. Inhale all the way up, bring the right arm around, bring the toes to the left, left arm comes up and over, gentle side plank, feeling the stretch. Exhale. 
exhale, coming back down to the mat, bringing the right knee in, crossing it over, gentle twist, coming back to center, uncross, bring the left leg in, give ourselves a hug, cross over, gentle twist, flex the toes, you can always bring that right foot back, half Lord of the Fishes. Coming back to center, gently bring the feet in together, bring the feet up, ready, maybe this is where you hold right here, maybe your hands come to your thighs as you bring your feet out in a V, maybe you grab your big toes. Balance on your sit bones as if you're balancing on that block as you come up into chalice. And from chalice, bringing ourselves to candlestick. Bending the knees, bring the soles of the feet together Bring the arms underneath, coming into our lotus flower. Pointer finger under the thumb, feeling the breath. Maybe you let your feet come to the earth and come into your cobbler. Maybe you hold in the balance for lotus flower. Gently bring the feet down one more time. Give ourselves a hug. Bring our nose to our knees. Feel the stretch in the back of the spine. Inhale up. Gently bring the feet back around. Hands come wide, plant the toes, pick up the knees, feel bare. Gently push back, feel our downward dog, breathing into it. So I will share with you my experiment worked with these mats. They're like, almost like bath mats or carpets. They're called yoga carpets. They washed up very nicely today. Step, walk, jump, flat back, exhale, fold, inhale all the way up, bringing the hands back through heart center to Dasana. So when I say washed up, I mean I put them in the washer and the dryer. Um, you know, the heat of the dryer kills the germs. I was going to put them out in the sun, but Mother Nature had a different plan. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, fold. We're coming into a moon salutation. Bend your knees. Come to your edge for squat. Gently step back with the right knee, right foot, crescent lunge. Inhale up, feel this gentle crescent lunge. Exhale, bring the left foot back. Gently bring the hands, a gentle camel. Earlier in the week, we did a full camel. Exhale, fold, lift them. Inhale, up, gentle. 
gentle camel. Hands to heart center. Bring the right foot forward. Gentle crescent lunge. Bringing the hands through heart center. Step forward into your squat. So maybe the hands come to the mat. Maybe you step up and use solid core coming into our squat. Hands come to the side. Gentle forward fold. Inhale, bring it all the way up. Arms up overhead. Hands come back through heart center. Tadasana. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, come on down. Slow, slow, slow. Coming into our squat. Left foot back. Crescent lunge. Bring the knee gently to the earth. Inhale up. Crescent lunge. Bringing that left, right foot back. Feel our camel. Exhale, fold. Inhale up. Gentle camel. Bring our hands through heart center. Bring that left foot forward. Feel our crescent lunge. Step forward with the right foot. Come into our squat. Hands to the mat. Gently straightening the leg. Inhale, roll it all the way up. Bring the arms up overhead. Hands come back through heart center. Tadasana. All right, we're going to do tree and sign of good fortune. So gently shift the weight to the left foot, pick up the right, bring it to the right, and gently pick up that right foot as we come into our tree. Maybe you come into a shtanga tree, bring that to the center, and Wrap yourself into the bind. I'm going to go with a traditional tree tonight. Maybe your toes are still in the mat. And I'm holding this just a little bit longer. Breathing into it. Step Y, feel my star pose. From my star pose, I'm shifting over to the right and picking that left foot up. And you can use the wall, the chair as a prop if you have it. Coming into our cactus arms, maybe you keep your hands at heart center. Maybe steeple arms up overhead. So we're gently opening our hips in balance. Step wide, feel our star pose. Okay, now from star, I'm going to bring my left toes over. I'm going to feel my warrior two. And I'm breathing into my warrior two. So again, we're hip opening, heart opening. All of our chakras are lined up here from the root through the crown. Now, left elbow comes over. And maybe we come into easy side angle. Exhale, 
bring that left arm down, right arm up, and this may be where you hold. Maybe you come into the bind as we look up to the ceiling. So we're coming into easy side angle bind. Maybe you're holding with your elbow on your left thigh, breathing into it. Release, inhale back up, come back into your star. Bring the right toes over, bring the right elbow, come up, easy side angle. And this may be right where you hold. Maybe the left arm comes up, that right arm comes down. Maybe we come into the bind. Maybe we hold right here. Maybe your elbow's on your thigh. Honor your edge. Knee is over the ankle. Release the bind. Bring the left hand to meet the right. Squeeze the palms together as we inhale back up. Feel our star pose. Step back to the left, the front of the mat. And so we did one moon salutation. Now I'm just coming through a sequence of poses. Mm, and maybe we'll do one super duper moon salutation at the end. Maybe we'll save that for Saturday night. Shift the weight to the left foot. Pick up the right heel. But what I am going to work on, and actually I'm going to do it the opposite way to demo. I'm going to bring the right foot to the to the mat. So we may we're going to come into sign of good fortune. First stage here, crossing at the ankle. Second stage, left ankle comes to the right thigh. So we've been prepping and doing our hip openings thus far into the practice. Now, and again, you may use the wall, maybe you have your hands. So it's like sitting in a chair with our ankle crossed onto our thigh and bending that right knee as deep as we can coming into our sign of good fortune. Now, maybe you twist and bring the left hand to the left foot or the right hand to the right foot, whichever side you're on and open into the twist. Maybe you're still hanging on to the wall. Next stage may be flying pigeon. So gently bring the hands to the mat. We're going to hook that left leg onto our elbows like chaturanga arms and pick that right foot up off the mat and come into arm balance. And then gently, maybe you unwind your feet. Maybe you're still holding with your foot crossed in the mat. And hip replacement, holding right here. Breath. Okay, step wide. Feel our star pose. Gentle knee bend side to side. Maybe you take it long leg, one way. Walk the hands back, long leg the other way, feeling the stretch, releasing out the hips. Come back to center, halfway flat back, plant the left hand, pick the right hand up. Bring the right hand down, bring the left hand up. Both hands.
hands down. Inhale, bend those knees, bring it up, come back to star pose. Step, walk, jump, come on back to the middle of the mat. Okay, sign of good fortune on the other side. Have your wall, your chair, so we're balancing on the left foot. Pick up the right heel, bring the right knee to the right. Cross the foot over, and this may be where you hold. Maybe that right foot comes up, bending the left knee as far as the right hip allows, or the left knee allows. And you can sit in a chair and do this if your knees are tender and need extra support. Take the right hand to the left and maybe come into the twist. Now, I don't know what my right hip is going to do, but I'm going to go for it tonight. I'm going to bring my hands down to the mat. Nope, my right hip is saying this is where you're holding. And I would hook my right leg onto my chaturanga arms and kick that left foot back. Maybe you're holding here with me. Maybe you're coming into your flying pigeon. As you're ready, inhale, bring it all the way up. One more time, come back into star. This time, bring both toes to the front of the mat. Gentle forward fold. Feel our pyramid. Plant the right hand, come into our reverse triangle. Inhale, bring it all the way up, bringing our toes to the other side. Feel our standing pyramid. Maybe your arms come up and over. Maybe you simply reach towards the mat, square off the hip. Maybe you're using your block, breathing into it. Take the left hand to the mat, the right hand comes up, breathing into it. Inhale, bringing it all the way up, bringing the arms back, feel our star pose. Shift the weight to the left foot, come back to the right, standing X, each foot five times, so we're rocking back and forth. If you count each tap ten times, but feel it, feel solid, and then come back to the other side and feel solid. One more time. Right foot up, bring it back over. Left foot up, bring it back to center. One more balance pose. So moon salutation coming. Balance poses coming. I can and I will. Look at the love and the happy. Inhale. Bring the left arm up. Bring the right foot behind. Bring the right foot up, maybe, and come into pencil point. And maybe you bring that left hand back behind. And this is right where we're going to hold. If you want to come out into your king pigeon, your dancer, that's fine. 
It's your practice. Look up to the ceiling. Open and close, open and close, close the mouth and swallow. Tricky imbalance. Release that right foot out. Take it from side to side, side to side, side to side. All right. I'm planting my right foot in the mat. I'm bringing my right arm up. I'm bending my left knee. And this may be right where I hold. Maybe my left hand wraps around my left foot and I come into pencil point. And this may be right where I hold. Bringing that right hand back Maybe you feel your king pigeon. Maybe you're still reaching with the left hand. Gently inhale. Maybe you look up. Maybe you're still holding steady, looking at the love sign. Inhaling up. Close the mouth and swallow. Gently bringing that left foot back to the mat. And one more time, gently come from side to side, side to side, side to side. So let's come down wide leg squat. We did our arm balance and I'm not doing sun salutations tonight, the full moon is tomorrow night. I'm creating a calming practice, feeling this wide leg squat, breathing into it. Gently bringing my hands back around. Gently rolling down onto the mat, bringing my knees into the armpits, bringing my hands and my head, neck and shoulders up. So I'm doing my crow on my back and breathing into it. So in sign of good fortune, we did our pigeon is in sign of good fortune. So we're gonna bring our feet down to the mat wide, head, neck, and shoulders come down onto the mat, and let the knees come in together. And if you want a towel roll under your neck, that's up to you. Um, I've started using one, and it's helped. Bringing the arms out, and you know, just like some people sit on a blanket, and some people don't sit on a blanket. It's what works for you and what feels good for your body. All right, so my knees are together, my feet are out. I'm gently gonna let my knees drop over to the right as I look to the left. Now maybe that right foot comes on top of the left knee, not required, it's an option. So in our moon salutation and our gentle camel, we did some back bend. Releasing the feet back to the mat. Gently bring the knees in together. 
lift up in the middle and come back down. Breathing into it. Gently let the knees drop to the left as you look to the right. Maybe that left foot comes to the top of the right knee. As you're ready, coming back to center, Resettle the sit bones, let the knees come into the center. Now, heel toe the feet in so that the hip femurs are coming straight out of the hip bone. Inhale, bring that right foot up, gentle circles with that right foot. Gentle circles back around the other way. Now gently take that right foot and bring it over to the right. And I'm going to push the world into the light of the candle. And then I'm going to take that right foot, let it hover, and bring it along the mat as it comes around in a circle and bringing it straight back up. Walk my hands back behind that right leg, feeling split on my back. Maybe that left leg comes straight out onto the mat. Now, being mindful of the low back, maybe you bend your knees and switch. Maybe you do a scissors kick. Once, twice, three times, bring that left foot up. And I'm going to rotate here so you can watch this left foot come up to the ceiling. And then I'm going to gently let the left foot come out to the left. It's hovering. I'm not touching the earth as I make a circle and come all the way around and bring that left foot up. Gently walking my hands up the back of my left leg. Maybe that right leg straightens out on the mat coming into split on our back, breathing into it. Now gently, Bend the right knee, bring that left leg back to the right side. We've been here in sign of good fortune. Maybe we bring this in and feel our pigeon on our back. And you may choose to hold here 
or maybe you move through the stages with me coming into a figure eight. So from here, if you're coming into figure eight, bring that right foot to the mat. Bring the left foot over to the right. And this may be right where you hold. And this is a, a pose, a stretch that we do almost every class. However, maybe you take it deeper and you can bring the right foot into the left hand and the left leg comes straight out on the mat. So our legs are making a figure eight. And breathing into it. And you can be holding back at incumbent pigeon or anywhere in between. Honoring your self in the stretch. Gently bring ourselves back onto our back. Maybe we push up, feel a reset in bridge. Exhale, come on, but down. Pick the right foot up, cross it onto the left side. And you may say, I'm holding right here. First stage, second stage, maybe the hands come back behind the left side. And maybe you hold right here. Bringing the left foot back to the mat. Bring the right foot over to the left. Right hand comes down for that left toe. Right left hand comes to the right big toe. And we stretch into our figure eight. And again, you can be anywhere between here and on your back with your ankle crossed, or maybe you're simply on your back. Wherever you are, honor yourself at your edge. crossing, bringing ourselves back to center. One more time, maybe you feel the reset of pushing up into bridge. Exhale, come on back down. Knees come into happy infant. If you hands to the back of the thigh, the outside. And then from happy infant, bringing our legs up, feeling legs up the wall. Now maybe you choose to take it deeper and bring your legs up into your shoulder stand. If you know the way there, feel free to go. If you don't know what I'm talking about, hold right here.
now wherever you are bringing the fine light to the mat so we're all coming back into legs up the wall everybody's spine is flat on the mat bringing the soles of the feet together feel our cobbler Bringing the pinky side of the toes to the mat, bringing ourselves palm to elbow, palm to elbow. Move to Bhattakarnasana. Maybe you put the blocks under your knees so that you can melt into this pose. Gently bringing the knees in. Maybe you give yourself a hug and stretch out. Maybe you play silly, bringing the feet up, bring the hands up. Shake everything out. Shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. Let our eyes roll around in our head. Stick our tongues out and go. And again, go. Let it all out and giggle as we gently melt down onto the mat, bringing the legs flat out, bring the palms down, gently melting into your savasana, your pose of meditation. And as you're melting into your pose of meditation, I'm sticking with the white light and the rose essence flowing into the crown, replacing that which was there from yesterday or the day before. <coughs> Gently filling the whole body, white light and rose. I am sending gentle Reiki energy out to you. If you wish to have the energy come to you, ask for it to come to you and it will. If you would like it to pass you by, ask it to pass you by and it will. It'll go to a house plant or an animal or your neighbor, whoever is looking to have that energy.
gently deepening your breath. Turning your head from left to right and right to left. As you're aware, I'm going to gently sound the gong. Stretching the arms up overhead. Wiggling the fingers and toes. Gently rolling over onto the right side. Pausing and thanking ourselves for our practice. Gently pushing ourselves up one vertebrae at a time. Coming into easy cross leg. Bringing our hands to heart center. I am grateful for, I am grateful for, and I am grateful for. May the light within me salute the light within you. And when we are at this place, we are all the same. Namaste. Be happy, safe, and healthy until we meet again. And getting my glasses so I can thank everybody. However, this has a different way. Um, of showing me huh all right so Cindy says huh all right so Cindy can hear me Ethel and Nina could not and I went in and turned I have my volume up all the way and when I replayed it I could hear it so I'm not clear what's going on so I will post a test live tomorrow so we can figure out how to um, correct the volume concerns. Thank you.